Bert Boerland of Dutch Open Projects and welcome to the Dopcast, uh, irregular uh, podcast about how to use Drupal modules. Today I want to talk about uh, RAID, a module uh, Dop made for uh, a customer and was contributed and can be downloaded at drupal.org slash project slash RAID. So what does RAID do? Well, RAID, as the name suggests, uh, makes it possible to RAID on your content. Um, and we already have modules for that. There's a module for that. It's called Five Star or Photo Up and Down. Um, well, RAID is more than that. RAID is a combination of those and more. It's been called the CCK module for voting with Drupal. Um, and it's not even by us. Uh, for example, in RAID you can, uh, in Five Star you can have uh, five or ten stars um, for your content. But say you have a hotel, and which is a content type or a note, and you want to uh, rate the service, and you want to rate the breakfast, and you want to rate different kind of services that are offered by that note, that hotel. With rate that's possible without programming. You can have uh, a service on up down or uh, emotions like uh, it was good, it was excellent, etc. Or uh, you could do a five star for uh, the breakfast. And you can even make your own uh, widgets without programming. Uh, there's a hook for that, that's also true, but the other side is that you can make your own widgets um, and only in the templating make them look nice. So if you go to drupal.org slash project slash rate, uh, you can download the latest uh, version. It's a rather active uh, the maintainer. And if you download it and um, place it in the normal uh, directory or use trash, you can configure it. Now let's do that. Once you install it, and this is a demo site, you go to admin build rate and you end up with this screen. And let's say we do something easy, we make a thumbs up, just a thumbs up, a bit like Facebook. Explain the tag later, and we'll attach it to a page, and only the mm, no, we'll attach it to a story, and only the story, not the comments. Um, display settings where it should be displayed: the latest uh, permissions, the latest development version. By the time you uh, see this, stable. Um, if you're not a role, then you either don't see it, or you get redirected, or etc. And a submodule is called expiration, and then you can say that in some time people are not allowed to vote on it anymore. So if we press save, we now have a very, example, a very basic rate, sums up, and if we create content, I think I did it on story, and we make a warm demo text with some dummy text, and we press save, and now we have something you can vote on. And if I vote here, it's this Ajax, we vote it. And if we go to another browser and we're not logged in, we go to that article. Two users have voted. Well, easy, wasn't it? So let's make this even more complex. Say we also want to have um, emotions on this uh, content type. And we call it emotions, and machine readable name, and voting tag. And in this case, we want to have four options one is funny, one is mad, one is angry, and one is bad. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and we attach it to a story. And this time we set permissions. Only logged in users are able to see this, otherwise, you have to log in. If you go to the front page, to the second node, which is a hotel in this case, I can say it's funny. And when I go there with another browser, and I go to the front page, to this node, and I say it makes me mad, then I have to log in. Um, so this, now we have three different kinds of voting on one. Uh, content type, and you also can have it on comments and on different voting, um, um, uh, different content types. 
Um, it also integrates with a lot of other modules like chart. Here you can see the results in chart module. Um, and here it's a live site. You can see the real data. This is a note. And type a note on this uh, uh, site we made. And if we say we're okay with this, we go to the voting results. See that the administrator can nicely see how how what was voted on what's the uh, content type. So that's basically rate in a nutshell, and I hope you like it. Hi, my name is Maris Lewende. I'm the maintainer of Wade, and I'm also working at Dutch Urban Project. And this is my blog at mariselewende.nl. Please visit my blog, and I hope you like the podcast.